Olá, tudo bem? Nós vamos ter aqui uma conversa uh, com um, uma pessoa muito interessante que eu gostaria que você soubesse, que você conhecesse o trabalho dele. Para isso, eu vou falar em inglês e você vai ver aí através das legendas um pouquinho a respeito de tudo que essa nossa conversa vai nos levar, tá bom? Hello everyone, here with me I have Rick. Rick is a, uh, a person that you must know. So, without further ado, I would just ask Rick to uh, talk a little bit about yourself and then we can continue from there. Awesome. Good to see you again, Fabio. Good to see you too. So, yeah, my name is Rick Paddock. I'm a uh, hypnotist in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is just a little bit north of Chicago, Illinois, in the middle of the United States. I've been a hypnotist for about eight or nine years. And uh, I got into the hypnosis field through the coaching field, the life coaching field, learned some hypnosis skills and uh, found that hypnosis was so effective at helping my coaching clients make changes that I decided to do more hypnosis. So my primary business is as a hypnotist, helping people make change. I'm a hypnosis instructor. I train other hypnotists. I'm also a podcaster. It's kind of how we met. That's right. Last year at the... Uh, at the Heartland Hypnosis. Heartland Hypnosis Conference, we were talking podcasting. And so my podcast is uh, the Mind Flipping Podcast, mindflipping.com. And I interview other experts, not only in hypnosis, but also in uh, meditation, uh, neuro-linguistic programming, coaching, neuroscience, anything about our changing our minds. So I, I call it the Mind Flipping Podcast because I'm not sure uh, if by where you live, they have the term house flipping is that yeah well yeah? We kind of okay we, we, yeah we do so in, in the united states it's there's all kinds of tv shows house flipping shows and it's <laughs> about taking a house that needed to be renovated and updated and making the house like new or even better than new and i thought well as hypnotists that's really what we do uh -huh. we help our clients renovate and update their minds their thoughts their habits their lives And so I call it the Mind Flipping Podcast. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and in the podcast industry, it's kind of uh, booming for the last few years um, in Brazil, in Portugal, where our uh, hypnocast uh, audience are actually uh, based at. Uh, we see not only podcasts growing more and more, but also the hypnosis industry, right? Yep. So um, how, what is your perception, especially coming here from the U.S., where hypnosis has been... Uh, so consolidated for many years, but now with all those conferences, you've been actually bringing mind flipping in most of them. Yeah. Uh, how do you see hypnosis uh, moving forward, especially in this uh, new technology field that we are getting into it, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's all fantastic. The new technologies of, of podcasting, of YouTube. Uh, there's so many ways to, to really get the truth out. And I know for years, so my friend and, and mentor, Dr. Richard Nongard, was one of the first to put YouTubes Or, uh, videos on YouTube and I think he got a little bit of uh, negative feedback from the industry because it was like he was sharing hypnosis secrets you can't show everything <laughs> right 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 but we do now I mean there's there there's everybody can see behind the curtain if you will mm -hmm. um, and the more everybody knows the better and so I think now is a great time to get into the field uh, for a number a couple of reasons neuroscience is now right. telling us what's happening up here things we've known hypnosis has worked for you know decades centuries but we didn't always know why but now neuroscience is telling us why exactly so there's validation to the field i was telling my wife recently how i really you know more and more i'm feeling in my heart a purpose of helping new hypnotists um, start a business even if it's just a part-time business because it's so needed and it's exciting an exciting time to get into the field Here in the United States, 20 or 30 years ago, uh, if you said you were a massage therapist, it was a little bit like, it was almost a little bit of a sexual connotation. Got it. And, but now there's massage therapists everywhere. They realize it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's not a, a shady thing. Chiropractors for years, they didn't understand it. Can you really improve somebody's health mm -hmm. by manipulating their spine? Now everybody accepts it. Hypnosis is getting that way. There's a lot of people don't understand it. And now more and more people understand it to the point where it's embraced. There's not the as many, there's still some, but not as many myths and misconceptions. So it's a great right. time. Yeah, and technology comes just to help, right? It's to, it's not only to uh, facilitate, but to boost whatever you want to boost. Like in, 
in our field, hypnosis, uh, whenever we look at it, there are so many options out there, right? I was just talking uh, last week in the Heartland, one of my, my, my talks was about uh, automation, especially about automation. Because here's the thing, every hypnotherapist, they're also a business owner. At the, at, at the first place, you need to figure out a way to maintain that business. Right. So here in Hypnobiz, it's all about bringing the business concept uh, among all the topics we, we, we are here to learn, not mm -hmm. only hypnosis, because majority are already hypnotists, right? Yeah. Uh, if not all. So talking about automation, talking about chatbots, this technology, right? Social media that is helping us, and of course, podcasting that is one of the best channels out there to talk directly with people. Right. It's, it's pretty much like having a, a hypnotherapy session, right? So I'm actually having this hypnosis session with someone sometimes, and sometimes I got myself in, into, I use the word trance, some people don't, doesn't like that, but I would say a state, let's, yeah. just for lack of a better word, sure. when I'm listening to certain uh, people. And by the way, uh, your, your podcast is awesome, because your introduction kind of put the person already in that state of mind, right? <laughs> it's pretty much like, okay, now I got it. All right, let's go for it, right? Thank it's you. Just get into a ride. Right. It's pretty cool. The tone of voice and every, everything that you prepare. So this kind of technology that is just on our hands, available for us. It's fantastic. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so when I train my new uh, students, my new hypnotists, uh, speaking of technology, what I try to impress upon them uh, is what's worked for me. And speaking of technology, I use a tablet. I use an Android, a Samsung tablet. And it, and it runs my business, this little 10-inch tablet. I've got all my client notes, uh, any scripts, you know, uh, in my mind scripts aren't a bad thing, they're outlines. And so when somebody comes to you, you can refer to them. You find them in the tablet. I've got my notes. I can process my payments through the tablet. I can schedule their next appointment through my tablet. You know, it used to be you had paper, you had to pull out a calendar. Now it's all right there. You can do it on your phone tablets exactly. a little bit bigger. It's fantastic. It's so fantastic. I, yesterday I was just talking uh, with uh, Mario Lima and Adolfo Carvalho. Those are Portuguese guys. They're bringing up uh, this concept of dual voice. Uh, and we're talking about a little bit technology being used in, in, in the hypnosis industry as well. So in this market, you see uh, so many uh, areas to grow still. Uh, and then I was just uh, thinking and reflecting another day. Uh, the Ericksonian uh, language pattern, right? The yeah. Ericsson language pattern. And there were some sort of uh, products that, um, that I was just uh, being advertised on Amazon. I was just uh, Googling some hypnosis uh, material in Amazon. And then there was this Ericksonian language pattern cards. And I, you must have seen those. Sure. I don't know if you have them. Yeah. I, I do have them. Yes already but then I just figure oh I own that but I own from the perspective of a hypnotist right because I can use it for different purpose what if I can kind of create audio versions of this Absolutely. right yeah. so I was just thinking out yeah. loud and there are so many things you can explore right the repurpose things that we already have yeah. and um, but tell me one thing uh, in the mind flipping you uh, you said even you, you have interviews with uh, people from the industry yes. and um, I assume um, from all from all around the world yes right? so how is it for you to tap into those uh, those folks and, and, and you know get them into uh, your your podcast yeah so again that's where technology is so great so when I thought of starting my podcast so it's been over just over a year that I've had it I'm a uh, tomorrow I'll have episode 80 um, came to came to my mind and within about a month I launched it and so I called some friends uh, Victoria Gallagher uh, has power of your mind I believe is her podcast uh, Jason Lynette uh, work smart hypnosis podcast got a little bit of their feedback uh, they've both been guests on my podcast uh, Scott Sandlin dr. Richard Nongard you mentioned uh, but then recently I've had guests from overseas so uh, Bob Burns, the creator of The Swan. Right. Bob's here at the HypnoBiz New York conference. Freddie Jacqueline, uh, Stephen Blake. So people, and the, the and Zoom is the is what I use. Okay. So Zoom is a technology where now I can interview people from around the world, and uh, especially for a podcaster, you'll understand this. Especially when our guests invest just a little bit in a good mic. Right. It's a it's a great. There's great sound quality. 
and uh, just spend just a little bit and get a good camera and you've got right. great video quality. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and I'm always trying to come up with something that is top notch for the audience, right? On, on the podcast, on the Hypnocast, um, sometimes um, the feedback I get from the audience is that, you know, if you get the good audio, um, I will carry listening wherever I go. Um, sometimes the topic is so good, but it, I can't really, you know, stop and listen or I can listen on the, on the go. So then what I have to do, I'll, I'll park for a moment and I'll have time, I go back and I try to pay attention. It, this is hard because, you know, you're consuming people's time, right? right? So, yes, it's always good to have this good... We want it to be top That's notch. right, yeah. that's right. Well, obviously, there are always things out of our control. That's right. So we do our best. Yeah, we do our best. <laughs> All right. So, good. Being here in a hypnobase, um, is this your first year or, or the second year? Yeah, again? I just missed out last year. So, uh, my first year in Hypnobiz New York, it's been fantastic. Um, there's so many great conferences. Again, we met at Heartland, in the Heartland Hypnosis Conference in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, every year since it started, I've been at Hypno Thoughts and Hypno Thoughts Live in Las Vegas. Okay. That's coming up in uh, in August. Right. I'll be speaking on podcasting in awesome. uh, in Vegas at uh, Hypno Thoughts Live come August. Um, but yeah, I, I love attending the conferences. Uh, my next goal is to to get international. And uh, good, good, good. So for the audience out there, especially the Brazilians and Portuguese uh, speaking um, audience here, we can definitely. You know, look out for Rick, and then if you really want to have someone who is uh, very passionate about this industry, there you go. Here's the man. That's right. <laughs> I am passionate. Right? I really thank you for, uh, you know, giving you uh, uh, some, some uh, for sharing something with us today, and uh, you know, uh, sparing some time to talk to me. My pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Anytime. I love talking hypnosis. All right. Appreciate. It. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Muito bem. Essa foi a nossa conversa aqui com Rick. E para você que não ainda assina o Hipnocast, faça isso agora, assina o Hipnocast na, no seu agregador de podcast favorito. E no mais, você que está assistindo no YouTube e não conhece o Hipnocast, é www.hipnocast.com.br. Grande abraço, até mais. No mais, eu quero agradecer a tua participação aqui no meu canal. Quero também te pedir para se ainda não inscrito, se você ainda não está aqui inscrito, que você é, se inscreva no canal e ative a notificação para que qualquer outro novo vídeo que eu venha publicar aqui sobre todos os assuntos que eu falo e que são de repente do seu interesse, você possa receber essa notificação e já ser um dos primeiros a assistir. No mais, eu deixo com você um grande abraço e até o próximo vídeo.